welcome students in standard 8 you studied general science in 9th you have science and technology in this you will have paper 1 and paper 2 today we will start with a lesson work and energy from science and technology paper 1 this lesson has two major parts that is work and energy in today's lecture we will discuss about work under this we have subtopics definition of work formula units positive negative and zero work and some numericals based on the formula let us see what is work Work is said to be done when force applied on an object causes displacement of the object. Force and displacement are the keywords of the definition. We all know that work is not possible without application of force. Not only force but displacement is also important for work done so if there is no displacement then there is no any work done as you can see in the first example a girl is reading a book the girl is sitting at one place and reading so there is no displacement and hence there is no any work done in second example, a boy is playing a football where well, there is a displacement and hence their work is done. Let us see the formula. We saw in the definition force and displacement both are important for work. Here is the formula of work. Work equal to force into displacement. That is W equal to F into S where S is the displacement. Let us see the units now. In SI system, the unit of force is Newton and the unit of displacement is meter. Thus, the unit of work is Newton meter which is also called as Joule. In CGR system, the unit of force is dyne and that of displacement is centimeter. Thus, the unit of work done is dyne centimeter which is also called as erg. Let us define 1 joule and 1 erg. If a force of 1 newton displaces an object through 1 meter in the direction of force, the amount of work done on the object is 1 joule. If a force of 1 dyne displaces an object through 1 centimeter in the direction of force, the amount of work done on the object is 1 earth. Now we will see the relationship between joule and earth. We know that 1 newton equal to 10 raised to 5 dyne and 1 meter equal to 10 raised to 2 centimeter. After putting these values in the formula, we will get 1 joule equal to 10 raised to 7 earth. As you can see in the first picture, a person is pulling a cart with help of a string. Here, the direction of the force is different from that of displacement. In this case, force is applied along the direction of the string while the cart is pulled along the horizontal surface. Here, the direction of the force makes an angle with the direction of displacement. Let theta be the angle 
that the string makes with the horizontal surface. Work done in such case can be calculated using the formula W equal to F S cos theta. Let us calculate the work done for some specific values of theta. For theta equal to 0 degree, cos theta is 1. And hence, formula changes as W equal to F S. So, we can conclude that for theta equal to 0, force and displacement are in the same direction. So, here the work done by the force is positive. For theta equal to 90 degree, cos theta is 0 and work becomes 0. So, we can conclude that when the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other, the work done by the force is 0. For theta equal to 180 degree, cos theta is minus 1 and the formula becomes as W equal to minus Fs. Here, we can conclude that when the force and displacement are in opposite directions, the work done by the force is negative. Let us discuss an activity for better understanding of positive, negative and zero work done. As you can see, a plastic cup is kept on the table. A nut is tied to each of the two ends of a long thread. One end of the thread is inserted in the cup through a hole and other end is hanged down along the side of the table. In figure A, the cup is get pulled by the other end of the thread and the cup starts sliding along the table. So, in figure A, force and displacement are in same direction and hence it is positive work done. As shown in figure B, when the cup is sliding along the table, stop it by putting a ruler in its path. Now here, force and displacement are in opposite direction, so work is negative. As shown in figure C, keep the cup at the center of the table and leave two nuts hanging on opposite sides of the table. Here, we can conclude that net force on the cup is zero and there is no displacement so here work done is zero let us see some examples example one pushing a stall vehicle here applied force and displacement of the object are in same direction so work done is positive Example 2. Stopping a cycle by applying brakes. In this example, applied force and displacement are in opposite direction. And hence, work done is negative. Example 3. Pushing a ball. Here, force applied on the ball does not displace the ball. And hence, the work done by the force is zero. Now, we will solve some examples. Example 1. Ravi applied a force of 10 Newton and moved a book 30 cm in the direction of the force. How much was the work done by Ravi? First, we will list down the given data. We have F equal to 10 Newton and displacement S is equal to 30 centimeter. Now here force is given in SI unit and displacement is in CGS. So first we will convert displacement from centimeters to meters. So now we have S equal to 0 0.3 meters. 
Here we have to find out work done by Ravi. We have W equal to force into displacement. After putting the values in the formula, we got the work done by Ravi is 3 Joule. Example 2. When a force of 20 Newton acts on a body, the body is displaced by 5 meters. If the angle between the force and the displacement is 60 degree, find the work done by the force. Solution Given data is F is 20 Newton, S is 5 meters. In this example, the angle between the force and the displacement is given as 60 degree. So, we have theta equal to 60 degree. And we have to find out the work done by the force. Now, as value of theta is given, we have formula as W equal to Fs cos theta. Theta is 60 degree. So, value of cos theta is 1 upon 2 that is 0 0.5. As you can see, cos values of various angles are given in the note. After putting all given values in the formula, we got the work done by the force is 50 Joule. Let us revise once what we have learned. We studied work is said to be done when force applied on an object causes displacement of the object. We saw the formula work equal to force into displacement. In SI system, unit of work is Joule. In CGS system, unit of work is ERG. 1 Joule equals to 10 raised to 7 ERG. When the force and the displacement are in the same direction, the work done by the force is positive. When the force and the displacement are in opposite directions, the work done by the force is negative. The force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other. Then the work done by the force is zero. Also, we discussed activity and examples of positive, negative and zero work done. So students, I hope you all understood what we have learned in this module. So please make your own notes, read and revise what we have learned in this module. As I mentioned at the beginning, the remaining part of the lesson is all about energy, which we will study in the next module. Thank you.